But right now we're going to check out a one minute short film called The Fallen by filmmaker Barker Brower. It pays tribute to the fallen South African soldiers during the Second World War. So let's go check it out and when we come back we chat to the man behind this touching film. Some amazing, amazing stuff there from Barker Brow, and he joins us in studio this morning. Barker, good morning, man. How are you? Thanks for having me, man. Ah, Pleasure. All good, man. That's an amazing piece of film. One minute, but it's a short film. It is, yes. Um, it's a one minute short film. It was created for an uh, international online festival called Film Minute. Oh, okay. So the only criteria that there is, it has to be one minute, and including credits. Mm -hmm. um, it's an international thing that happens every September. So they received about 2,000 submissions. Wow. And uh, the idea is to get into the finals, and the Fallen yeah. got into the, into the top 25. Yeah. And for the whole month of September, people can vote for their favorite film. Yeah. Um, so that was the reason I made a one-minute <laughs> film. <laughs> and obviously yours made the top 25, so congratulations. Yeah, thanks. But as I said earlier, it's an absolutely touching, touching minute. So what's the story behind it? I think for me, I mean, as a boy, I've always wanted to make a war film. I mean, it's just one of those things you watch Shaving Private Ryan over and over and over. It's just <laughs> yeah. something. So I wanted to do a little, I've always wanted to do it. So I thought it would be great to do a tribute to actually the South African soldiers who fought in World War II. We're so used to like seeing World War II, World War II mm. through the eyes of the Americans or the British, you know, band of brothers and stuff. Exactly. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if we could do something for our guys? And what makes it even more special is that like my wife's grandfather, who's 94, he's still alive. Um, he still is able to tell stories of when he fought, fought in North Africa and Italy. And I think that for me makes it so much more um, personal. And I think, you know, in today's um, climate, we quite like, we, we focus on the history 10, 20, mm. 30 years ago, you know, the apartheid years. Yeah. But we have forgotten what happened 60 years ago. Exactly. And I think it is good to, to remember those guys who, who fought for their country okay. and who, who gave their lives. It sounds very cliche, but. There, no, there, there's I mean, a lot of weight to it, and I think that's what the, the film tries to yeah. capture. But that's the thing, so what exactly, did? What, what was your aim with this film? Because for me watching that film, it really captured me, you know, during that minute. It's very short, but it, ah, it just slams you. I, I kind of just wanted people to actually realize, a lot of people that I sort of showed the script and they, went, they got to the title, they were like, I didn't know that, and I yeah. go, how can you not know that, yeah. you know? So I think that was for me to kind of create that awareness and to really make it a little tribute. Exactly, and I think with Heritage Day coming up on, on Saturday as well, it's perfect timing. Yeah, and I think, yeah, it does fit in really, really well. And, mm. and I just hope that people sort of, you know, if, if their grandfather is still alive, they go, man, so where yeah. did you fight? You know, yeah. and actually like find out from their, from their grandfathers yeah. or from their fathers, yeah. you know, who might know stories. Yeah, so, so let's talk a bit about, I mean, it's a one minute film. How was it shot, the filmmaking process? Is it different to any other, you know, let's uh, short film or what? I mean, at the, at, at, at the end of the day, if it's a one minute film or it's a five minute film or a 10 minute film, you still gotta go through the whole process. Uh -huh. And the process started about 12 months ago with just sort of making phone calls, wow. um, finding the right people, finding actors, finding locations. Those are, were my biggest things, finding the right actors, the right locations. And then obviously, because it's a no budget, it just makes everything so much more difficult. That's the thing. Um, finding equipment, finding, it just everything costs some money. <laughs> exactly. So it, it is a no budget production, but it did cost something. Yeah. Um, but guys just came, help, helped out, yeah. you know, sort of gave their equipment. Yeah. Um, also did a lot of Facebooking uh, yeah. beforehand, like, you know, sort of, um, as I would go and find a location, post the pictures on Facebook mm. and say, what do you guys think of this location or wow. you know, this prop? And so it's been a really, really interactive year-long process. Exactly. It's definitely a process, as you say. I mean, for one minute, for a lot of work went into that. Well, Marcus, thank no. you so much for joining us. That's fantastic. Thanks eh? very and much. Congratulations on and, that. And um, if you guys want, filmminute.com, 
You guys can go and vote for 25 short films there. Definitely. Thanks so much, Jay. Bye, I appreciate it, man. So this Saturday, of course, it is the 24th of September. It is Heritage Day. And uh, if you are wondering what to do, Goldie City has got a ton of entertainment for the whole family. So let's go check this out. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.